Don't touch that phone. You're listening to the Mutual Audio Network, and there's no escape. The following audio drama is rated G for general audience. Descending at about 0.75 meters per second as expected. Expecting bridal cut shortly. On August 6th, 2012, the Curiosity rover landed on Mars. Touchdown confirmed. We're safe on Mars. Very soon after began this historic sequence of events. Bells in the Bat Free presents the following live update from the surface of Mars with Arnie Kunchbard aboard the Curiosity rover. August 14th, 2012. Contents copyright 2012 by John Bell Creative, LLC. This is John Bell of Bells in the Bat Free. We're about to talk to Arnie on the surface of Mars. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you might want to pause this and go back and listen to episode 131. That'll give you all the details on how Arnie wound up inside Curiosity on Mars. Ah, that should be him now. Hello, Arnie. Hello, Mr. Bell. This is Arnie Kunspard, live from Mars. Mars yes, Mars, yes, Mars. yes. Well, this entire project has been a huge success for NASA. We've seen some very interesting photos from Mars. Oh, thank you. Yes. Now, did you take all of those photos? I took most of the photos and texted them to the guys in NASA, but some of them were taken by the automatic camera. Hmm? The automatic, the automatic the camera that works without anybody having to mess with it. Automatic camera. Yeah, that too. Okay, well, how about the uh, that controversial picture where in the distance on the horizon there's this big dust flume as if something had impacted the surface of Mars? Oh, yeah, the automatic camera took that one. It was just sort of a happy happenstance that that happened at that right moment that it took that picture right then. And the prevailing theory is, is that is the impact of the device that lowered Curiosity to the Martian surface and then went a little further over and crash. Yes, that's a very good theory. Yes, it is. So you're not going to comment on that? No, I'm not. According to the official reports, NASA is uploading new software to uh, Curiosity right now. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct, Mr. Bell. So they're uploading guidance software so they can tell the Curiosity where to go. Is that right? Yes, that is not right. How's that? Well, you see, I tell the Curiosity where to go because I just drive around. Oh, well, how do you know where to drive Curiosity? Google! Google Maps? Yeah, Google Maps. You have maps as well as uh, photos. Do you know where you're supposed to be? Google has photo mapped the Martian surface? Yeah, they have. How? I have no idea. Oh. Well, if NASA is not uploading software for the guidance of Curiosity, what are they uploading? Video games. Video. Hey, I'm not on duty 24-7 here. I gotta do something in my downtime. Oh, and they're sending me some tunes, too. Music, huh? Yeah, appropriate music. Like? Let me see. Let me play this for you here. Ah, it was a bug-eyed, bug horn flying for a yeah, I get the idea. Arnie? Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you, Arnie. That's enough. Thank you very much. I love classic sci-fi. And, Arnie, when you're on duty, what are you doing? Testing the equipment. For instance? Well, for instance, the mechanical arm. Mm-hmm. This is mechanical arm. It really sticks out and grabs things and picks up things and moves things around and mm-hmm. stuff like that. And I had to test it and make sure it was working. And how do you test this arm? Well, I challenged it to an arm wrestling match. And how did that go? I didn't win. I kind of suspected. In fact, the arm was so strong, it flipped me, and I flew about 2,000 yards uh, over the Martian surface and, and smacked down in the dirt. Did it raise up a huge plume of dust when you hit the surface? Yeah, it kicked up a lot of dust. So that photo of that impact... Yes, that was me. One of the most embarrassing things that's ever happened to me. Well, Arnie, NASA says that the surface of Mars is very much like the Earth's surface. Do you agree with that? Oh, yes. There is sand. Mm-hmm. There is soil. Mm-hmm. There are rocks. Yeah. There are wrappers. What? There are soda cans. Wait, 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 wait. How did trash get on the surface of Mars? Oh, dig heads at NASA. Put everything in here except for a garbage bag. Okay, well, Arnie, are you identifying the items that you're finding on the Martian surface? Oh, yeah, that wrapper is from a Milky Way, and that can <sighs> The natural diet. stuff on the surface, Arnie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm identifying things on the surface. Here, I'll give you an example. Let me, let me start up curiosity here. There we go. All right, now let's go this way a little bit, and uh, you see there, there's a rock. Mm-hmm. And I identified that. That is... 
a rock. Hmm. And there's another rock. And there's some sand. And ooh, another rock. Uh, Arnie. Okay, let me let me turn left here, just past this big boulder. Arnie, are you using a turn signal? Well, I'm turning left, Monsieur Bell. Who's going to see the signal, Arnie? Safety pays, Monsieur Bell. Yeah, but... You never know when you may be turning and somebody doesn't know what you're doing and they can run right, smack down. Right. Okay, just continue, Arnie. Ooh, there's another rock. You know, there are a lot of those here. Now, here's an interesting place. We might want to actually drill a bit and see what's right under that surface. Great, great. Wait, could you do that while we're listening, Arnie? Oh, sure. Hold on. Let me just get out here. I just need to get the drill here. All right, this looks like a good spot. And we drill. Do you see anything interesting under the surface, Arnie? Not yet, not yet. Let me go. <gasps> Arnie? Mr. Bell. What, what, what? Right under the surface of Mars, under the sand and dirt. What, 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 what? A rock. We're running out of time here, Arnie. We need to really move along. Okay, Mr. Bell, but come back soon because, you know, I'll be home when this project is over. Um, Arnie? Yes, Mr. Bell. Have you been told how long this project is slated to run? No, I figure, what, a couple of days, maybe a week. Two years, Arnie. Or two years. Two years? Minimum. Minimum. How did you get this job anyway, Arnie? Well, I was told by the guys at NASA that NASA really stands for Nobody Available. Send Arnie. <laughs> well, I need to drive to my next location, Mr. Bell, so I'll sign off now. Yeah, be sure to use your turn signal. Oh, yeah, Mr. Bell. Don't be absurd. I mean, really, what would happen? Hey, I was turning here. Arnie, what happened? Look at this paint job. Arnie? Look what you did. Arnie, what happened? Oh, hi, Mr. Bell. Remember when I told you there were some things I wouldn't be able to tell you about uh, on this mission? Yeah. This is one of the things I can't tell, tell you about. Tell me about, about on, on this, this mission. mission, yeah. Uh, bye, Mr. Bell. i got to call my insurance guy. You call your... T- uh, Arnie? Hello? Now to Facebook. Off to a rocky start just days after going public. Stock prices plunging after its second... And Facebook stock was down again today, closing just over $28 a share. Down nearly 11% in just one day, and no one lost more than founder Mark Zuckerberg. August 17th, 2012. Hi, John Bell, Bell's in the Bat Free. Um, I'm a little concerned Arnie has not contacted us at this prearranged time, so I think the best thing to do is to call him. So bear with me for just a moment. For those of you joining us the first time, Arnie is on board the Curiosity on Mars, and uh, we're getting updates from him here. Let's see if he'll answer. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Hello? Arnie, it's me, John Bell. Come on, who else would be calling you? Well, it just so happens I'm on the other phone with NASA. I've got a power problem. That doesn't sound good. Is it serious? Of course it's serious, sir. Let me put the phone down, and you can listen to me talk on the other phone. I don't have time to chat with you right now. Hold on. Okay, go right ahead. Uh, Apparently, uh, Arnie's got some sort of... Power problem. Let's listen in and find out what's... Uh... Okay, I'm back, Bobak. Uh, okay, listen, uh, about this power problem, do I have to cut it all off? Now, I, uh, can I leave any of it on? <sighs> what that? Okay, okay if, if that's what you think I should do, I'll, I'll do that. Okay. Bye-bye, Bobak. I'll call you back later, Bobak. Arnie? Arnie, you there? Hello, Mr. Bell. This is Arnie Kunspar. Boy, am I in a pickle here? Yeah, I heard that. How are you going to survive if you cut everything off? Well, Bobek says I'll be fine. In fact, he says a lot of people will admire me. What, for dying on Mars in a powered-down rover? I'm going to die in a powered-down rover? Well, yes, if they cut the power to the Curiosity, you're in it, and without power, you Who said anything about cutting power to the Curiosity? You did. You were talking about cutting power. I'm not cutting power. Well, what are you cutting? I'm cutting my hair. You're cutting your hair? Yes, I'm getting a power haircut by cutting off all my hair. And this is something NASA is recommending? Not NASA. Bobak. Bobak. The Mohawk guy. Mohawk guy. The guy at Mission Control who has your Mohawk. Uh. Don't you ever watch television or go to YouTube, Mr. Bell? Well, I like those cute little kitty videos. I don't believe this. Just ask anybody in the street about your Mohawk guy at NASA, and they'll tell you all about it, Mr. Bell. Uh-huh. He's all over the media, and he said, to get a chance here, you got to have a power haircut. Uh-huh. So he told me to cut it all off. So you're going to cut off all your hair? Yes, I am. But you're not going to cut off all your power? No, I'm not. Oh, well, okay. I'm relieved. 
to a degree there, Arnie. So uh, what are your plans today with Curiosity? Well, today's kind of a light day mission-wise, so I thought I'd play a little golf. Golf? Being kind of a tradition, you know, with the astronauts. Astronauts. Hey, you're getting better at this. So you managed to take a whole bag of golf clubs with you to Mars? Nope, 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 nope. I can have no space for that, so I'm going to play Frisbee golf. Frisbee golf. Are you going to repeat everything I say? Am I going to repeat everything? Anyway, I set up a uh, Frisbee golf goal about 5,000 yards that way. You see, on Mars, you can throw a Frisbee a little bit further than you can on Earth. Uh-huh. So, let me get out of curiosity here. Uh, Arnie, are you wearing a space suit? Well, what do I need to wear a space suit for? I'm on Mars. I mean, yes, uh, yes, I am wearing a spacesuit. Arnie, are you covering up the fact that Mars has a breathable atmosphere? Apparently not anymore. Okay, continue. Uh, can we get out of here where it's kind of clear? And here goes the frisbee. Ooh, that was a pretty good shot. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's get back into curiosity here. And we'll go after the frisbee for my second shot. All right, so the curiosity is pretty much a... Several billion dollar golf cart. Don't be cute, Mr. Bell. I get that from my wife a lot. Come on, sweetie. First gear. And here we go, Mr. Bell. Out to get my frisbee. Can you see the frisbee from where we are, Arnie? No, no, I got a tracking device on it so I can follow it all. Beep, 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 beep. I see. It shows your distance and estimated time of travel. Estimated time of travel? It's showing about four hours to get there. Four hours? I told you we could throw things further on Mars than we can on Earth. I can't stay here on the phone with you for four... Uh Oh, you may not have to, Mr. Bell. I think I got a flat tire. A flat tire? How can you have a flat tire on the... I'm going to have to change this, Mr. Bell. Here, I'll put my earphone gizmo into my ear, and you can listen while I take care of this, okay? Yeah, yeah, sure, fine. This is, uh, this is fascinating, Ernie. And the spare should be in the trunk. Will you look at this? What? I want a spare, and I find a donut. You mean one of those little tiny spare tires? No, a donut with chocolate sprinkles. Why didn't they tell me it was in here? I could have used it earlier. Yeah. That Elvis guy left it here. Elvis guy? You are out of touch, aren't you, Mr. Bell? I'll try to catch up, Arnie. You're going to change the tire. I'm changing the tire. I'm changing the tire. Take your bolts off. Old tire off. New tire on. And we're ready to roll. And just in time, too, these stupid bugs are getting to me. Arnie, there are no bugs on Mars. Oh, yes, of course. There are no bugs on Mars. And now we continue our quest for the Frisbee. 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 Okay, here we go, Miss Bell. Well, Arnie, can you tell us anything interesting and scientific about the mission? I mean, you know, this is a science-type update. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, maybe you've seen a bunch of the pictures taken from way up in the sky on Mars. Those are taken by the Odyssey orbiting thing. Yes, that's very good. Arnie, so the Odyssey is orbiting Mars, and it's checking up on your progress. Yes, he is. Did you say he? Oops. You said he. No, does that I, mean? I didn't, no, I didn't, does that no. is somebody no. is somebody in the Odyssey orbiter? Yes. I don't believe this. So you're in Curiosity, and there's somebody else in Odyssey. Yeah. Who is it? Here, let me get him on your radio. Odyssey, come in, Odyssey. This is Curiosity. Hello, Odyssey here. Go right ahead, Curiosity. It can't be. Yes, it's Mr. Mr. Wizard. Wizard. Mr. Bell, is that you? How do you get in Curiosity? I'm not in Curiosity. I'm not on Mars. I'm apparently one of the last people left on Earth. You're not podcasting this, are you? No. No, no, no. No, no, no that's, it's, um, I wouldn't. I know that it's secret. secret. I yes, wouldn't. Yes, yes, wouldn't do that. Well, good. How did you wind up in the Odyssey Orbiter? Well, as you know, I've had a few disagreements with some folks on Earth. Like the FBI, the CIA, yes. Homeland Security, yes. Interpol. Fine, fine, yes, yes. So I arranged uh, to have a private um, launching corporation bring me here to the Odyssey, where it's nice and safe. You paid off the Russians to take you there so you'd be out of local jurisdiction. Something like that. It doesn't matter. I'm here and having a wonderful time. Yeah, but how could you afford to pay the Russians to put you there in Odyssey, and I assume come pick you up later, when you had no funds of your own? I promised the Russians that they could cash in on my investments, Mr. Bell. When I come home, I'll have plenty of dough because of these investments. Okay, all right. I see. Fine, okay. More power to you. (laughs) Well, thank you, Mr. Bell. Oh, by the way, uh, since you're on Earth, um, how's Facebook doing? You may be up there a while. 
August 20th, 2012. Copyright 2012 by John Bell Creative, LLC. This is John Bell at Bell's in the Back Free awaiting the call from Arnie Kunchpar to board Curiosity on Mars. Ah, there he is now. Hello, Arnie. How are things going there? Oh, this is my exciting mission, Bell. Today is the day I get to do something I've been looking forward to for a long time. Wash your socks. No. Take a shower. No. I get to catch fire the laser. Laser? Yeah, we have a mega laser. Wait, wait, wait. A mega what? Yes. What? Yes. So it's a mega yes laser? No, mega what? Mega what? Yes. So it's mega yes? No. Mega no. I don't have time for this tomfoolery, Mr. Bell. I get to shoot a laser. I think I better check with Mr. Wizard up in Odyssey. Hello, Mr. Wizard. Come in. Hello, everybody. This is Mr. Wizard. What can I do for you today, Arnie? This is the day the day I get to test fire the laser. Indeed it is. Today you get to test fire the Mega Yes Laser. That's what I said. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. That's the first of two objectives you have today. So what do I get to shoot the laser at? How, what, what, you, what, you, how, you, what, you, what? You, you get to shoot the laser at a rock. Wow, I get to shoot at a rock. Okay, I'm going to set up the targeting computer now. Excellent. Targeting a Rock. Good. It's right next to Iran, right? What? Charging laser. No, no, Arnie, Arnie, no, stop. What, 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 what was your problem? I said a rock, not Iraq. Just a lousy rock? Yes. In Iraq? No, on the Martian surface. Well, that's not as much of a challenge. Arnie, find an appropriate rock and fire your lasers at it. All right, all right. Let me look around for a second. Rock, 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 rock. Okay, there's a nice size rock right up there. What's its name? How's that? Its name. All the rocks have names. You need to name the rock. You're joking. Just think of a name for the rock. All right, all right. Let's see. A name for a rock that I'm about to hit with a laser and drill a hole through. Yes. I'm going to call it Mr. Wizard. Yeah. No, Arnie, think of another name. Something appropriate like Billy. Charging laser. Ready to activate laser. Fire. So, Mr. Curiosity, you want me to talk? No, Mr. Rock, I want you to die! <laughs> Arnie, Arnie, you've done it! You've burned a hole in the rock! Turn off your lasers! Oh, but I'm having fun! Turn them off, Arnie! All right, all right, lasers off! Now, the laser should have conducted an in-depth analysis on the rock. Do you see the result of that analysis? Yes! It is a rock! There's a couple of million dollars well spent. Oh, boy, oh, boy, that was fun. What's my next objective, Mr. Wizard? You should see a mountain in front of you, Arnie. A uh, mountain? Um... It should be directly in front of you. I don't know. I don't see it. You don't? Maybe it's behind that big mound of dirt. Big mound of... Arnie, that is the mountain. That's Mount Sharp. Mount Sharp? Mount Sharp is your next objective. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Charging lasers. Yes, just drive right over... Laser the... charge. What? What? Wait, no. Firing laser. No, Arnie, wait a sec. You weren't supposed to use the lasers on Mount Sharp. You were supposed to drive over to Mount Sharp and examine it. Oh, well, it'll be a lot easier to examine now. And I think I'm going to have to rename it to Mount Dull. Oh, boy, are we going to get yelled at for this one? NBC News has learned that Neil Armstrong, the first man to set foot on the moon, has died. Armstrong underwent heart bypass surgery. Neil Armstrong leaves a legacy bigger than his giant leap for mankind. Bells in the Battery, August 25th. 2012. Hi, this is John Bell. Bell's in the bat for you. Can't come to the phone right now. You know what to do when you hear that beep. Uh, hello, Mr. Bell. This is Arnie Kunstpart on Mars in the Curiosity driving it around. Excuse me if I sound a little groggy. I was asleep, but something woke me up, and I wanted to call you and tell you about it while it's, uh, while it's happening. I mean, it's just the strangest thing. I was, I was asleep, and suddenly there was this light, and, and it wasn't inside Curiosity. It was outside, kind of in the sky, and it was getting closer and closer, and it woke me up. And I thought maybe, uh, maybe a meteorite or something was coming this way, and it's still up there, and it's still coming this way, and I don't know what it is. It's uh, kind of bright in the middle and kind of glowy around the edges. And, and it's getting closer and uh, it seems to be slowing down. It's, it's 
It's not round, Mr. Bell. It's more of a... It looks... It looks humanoid, Mr. Bell. I, I'm not really sure what you make. Oh my gosh. Is... Is that you? Mr. Bell, it's him. <laughs> well, look, at that, look at that. Well, where are you going? Really? Okay, well, would you like to stop and walk around on another planet surface for a little while? Oh, <laughs> he said, he said, been there, done that, Mr. Bell. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, uh, you can't stay? You're on a voyage. How far are you going? Well, you won't know till you get there, huh? Okay, well, uh, have a good trip. And, uh, explore, okay? Oh, and by the way, that was one small step for a man. But man, it was a giant leap for me. Uh, Mr. Bell, just disregard this whole recording, okay? I think I'm going back to sleep. Um, good night. You can listen to classical and brand new audio dramas through the Mutual Audio Network. Subscribe through Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Spotify, or iHeartRadio today. There's eight different podcasts, one for each day of the week and genre. And the Mutual Audio Network broadcast feed so you don't miss a day of your favorite shows. Subscribe to Mutual Audio tonight. Good night.